Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to walk through how to install Jenkins on Windows. So what is Jenkins? So Jenkins is one of the most popular automation server and it is widely used for continuous integration and continuous delivery. That means CI slash CD. So let's start. First of all, you can open any web browser and just go to your Google search and just type Jenkins download. So here you can see right first link you can open and it is from www.jenkins.io and here you can see all the list of operating system they are showing. So in our case we have to select windows and by default it will automatically start download here otherwise you can just click here it will download. So you can see the Jenkins file has been downloaded so let's double click. So first of all it will come like welcome to Jenkins setup so just click on next now it will ask to select where you want to install by default you can go for next and here it will ask you to enter the service login credential if you have a local or domain user you can enter the account name and the password and after that just try to click on test credential so in my case I'm just going to start with local system and it is not recommended at all but this is for testing purpose so I'm just going now you can click on next so you can see by default it will start with the port number 8080 and if you want you can change it but I'm going with that same port number 8080 only now you can click on test port so you can see it is showing green color and check mark is tick that means this port is available now you can click on next you have to make sure like java version has been installed so they have also mentioned like java 11 17 and 21 is supported by jenkins so here you can see i have installed jdk 22 but they are asking java 11 17 or 21 so what i can do i'll just click on change because already i'm having 21 also so you can see JDK 21 already having and if you don't know how to install Java version then please watch this video. Now you can click on next. Now it will ask you to select the custom setup. So here you can just go for next or if you want to change something you can select here or there. And after that just click on install. So now one pop up will come you can just click on yes. This might take a few minutes so be patient. So now you have to click on finish. Once you click on finish then you will see nothing on your screen. So you just want to make sure it is installed or not. So what you can do just click on task manager click and go to the services and just type here J. J means Jenkins. So here you can see it is showing Jenkins is running. So at service level Jenkins is showing. Now let's cross check with the web URL. So just type here localhost 8080. And you can see the one screen will come and this screen is confirming like Jenkins has been installed. So at first time the initial admin password is going to store at this location and you have to enter that admin password and you have to go to this location to check the credential. So you can see this is the exact location. Now you can right click and open into notepad and you can see this is the admin password you can copy and you can just paste here and click on continue so at first time it will ask you to install some plugins so if you want to install some kind of custom plugin you can go here or you can just go with suggested plugin so it will take some time to install all kind of plugin like git ldap email extension and gradle and so many things if you don't want to go this one you can go and select just custom so you can see here we have a folder that is called plugins and whatever plugin will install everything will be come and store at this location so this plugin whenever you want you can easily remove it so how you can remove so once everything is done you can go to the manage jenkins and one plugin section will be there from that place you can easily uninstall any plugin so once all the plugin is installed one screen will come here it will ask you to create the first admin user so you can create or if you don't want you can click and continue as admin so you can see this is the jenkins url please always remember now click on save and finish now you can see this page it is showing jenkins is ready now let's click on start using jenkins so this is the jenkins dashboard here it is showing our user as a ram and whenever you click logout logout will be happen again you have to log in using that same credential you can see login is also working fine and if you click here you can easily create your job so you can just click on manage jenkins and you can see this section that is called plugins and whatever the plugin you want you can just click on available plugin and you can search and whatever plugin you have installed it will come and show at this place if you want to disable you can disable from this section and if you want to delete you can just select this one and uninstall that plugin in upcoming videos we are going to learn so many things about Jenkins so that's it for today bye